Today I'm going to show you how to restrain your traveler's notebook, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are restringing Traveler's Notebooks. Maybe you have one that has the elasticity that's gone or maybe you want to change the color up, it doesn't match, or you want to maybe have an orange color for fall or pink for spring. Maybe your little toddler came with the scissors and cut them. It doesn't matter the reason why you are changing your elastics, but today I'm going to teach you how to do it. Now I would have to say, functionally, the elastic is the most important part of your Traveler's Notebook. They hold your books in, here and then also keeps your traveler's notebook closed. Having elastics that work and having them put in properly is really important to make sure that your traveler's notebook works well for you. In one of my recent videos, I changed the elastics in this one, but because it's brown on brown, you really couldn't see what was going on. So this is why I'm doing this video to make it a little bit clearer so you can see what's going on. I've used high contrast colors so that you can see what's happening. So I've got a few here. This one you'll see has two holes and it's made out of a fabric so it has these eyelets but and, and the two holes are side by side. This one has two holes but they're one on top of the other. This one here and as well as th this one too has three holes across. So I'm going to take you through each one of these, show you how it's done, show you how to change this center elastic as well to get your traveler's notebook working better for you. Okay, let's get started. This for me is the one I have the most of, three across. So let's start with this guy. These elastics are fine, so I'm going to keep these ones. I'm going to take them out and put the same ones back in. So for that, I'm going to take the knots out very gently so that I can keep them. And then you just pull them out. You can see here that the middle hole is a little bit bigger than the other two and that's great because it's going to be a lot easier for us to get the elastic back in. Okay, what about this one? You can take the knot out, but you can also just pull it right out. You want to start where, you, where you're going to end basically because it's going to end up knotting together and be a loop. So if we want the knot on the inside, which we do, we want to start from the inside. So basically you just go out one hole, come back in another one. And I'm just going to pull this up to about there. And then you're going to go down. So you want to go down straight. You want to go from the same hole on the top to the same hole on the bottom. So I'm going to put it through here. And then I'm going to come back up through the middle. And then again, straight to the same hole. I'm going to move that over a bit so that it's easier for me to get it into the hole. And then across the back again. Down through the same hole again. And then we just have the middle that we've only done the once. So back through the middle and up. And those should meet. It's, I've done it a little bit loose. For me, tension is probably the most important thing. I don't like them too loose. Sometimes you'll get a traveler's notebook and the elastics are incredibly loose. I guess it's personal preference. I don't really know. I, I don't really know why you'd want it loose. I like to have them tight so I know that they're hang, they're holding in my books, but I don't think that it, I really don't think that it matters. And then you want to then you want to make a knot. And you want your knot to be tight and strong because it's holding all those books in, right? So there. That's it. So you go out one hole around the back and just go straight down. Now there's this guy. Now this hole is quite small so I don't think I'm going to be able to put this back in this way. I'm going to show you in the other one how to measure this but since it's already measured I'm just going to stick it back in. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it from here because it's too small. I'm going to take this out and I'm just going to put it in and I'm going to put it back in. So we're going to come in from the outside and same with the other one. This is going to be tough because it's so small. I'm just going to give that a little snip so that it has more of a point and all that fuzzy stuff on the end is getting in the way. I'm going to hold that elastic out of the way and then I'm going to use the point to get it in there. And once it's through you're all set. I will do a knot. Now I'm 
going to show you with another one how to get the right length of this because since this one's already cut, it's hard to show. So let's take this one. I'm looking at these now and I can see from the inside that these aren't the same elastics. These ones are actually okay. They probably don't need to be changed. This one, as you can see here, has absolutely no elastic left in it whatsoever. So this one's going to change. And you can see that I've already knotted it once to make it shorter because the elastic the elasticity is completely gone. Okay, let's take off Mr. Fox. All right, and then we'll just pull that out. That's garbage. Same idea. Let's just snip these edges. Okay. And this hole is just as small as the other one, so it might be a bit difficult. First one goes in nice and easy if I can keep it held out of the way. Two hours later. There. The point on the elastic really helps. I think that's going to go in. Yeah. Okay. Then, what you're going to do before you tie the knot is to close the book. And then you're going to take one end of the elastic and just pull it until it's the right tension. You don't want it too tight because then your book is going to buckle, but you don't want it too loose either because then it's just doesn't have a purpose. So have a little bit of tension in it so that it's tight, then gently take it back off again. And what you can do now is once you know where you want your knot to be, you want your knot to be about here. You can pull it back in and make the knot at that spot. Then pull it back out. Double check by closing it up to make sure that it's it's where you want it before you tighten that knot and cut the end. And then you just tighten the knot and cut off your ends. And there you have Thomas Notebook all set to go. Now, before we go on to the next one, I just want to talk a little bit about elastic. Now, I don't know how well you can tell in here. I'm hoping you can see. This is a round elastic compared to this one, which is flat. Ideally, you'd want a round one. Th this elastic is a lot stronger. It's held up a lot better than this, but this is also round and it didn't hold up either. I guess the better quality elastic you get, the longer it's going to last. I'm going to link a couple in the description below and you can get whatever color you want. They have such an array of colors. Right now, if you search online, you may come up with mask elastic. This is a lot stretchier. It's a lot softer. It's almost got a cottony feel compared to this, which is more on the hard side. To make sure you're getting the right one, because you probably don't want to use this. It's a little bit too stretchy and it's not very strong. Here, I'll just show you the different stretch so you can see. So the black one is the round and the white one is the mask elastic. So let's just take five centimeters. If I stretch this one, it'll go to eight. And if I stretch the mask one, It'll go all the way almost to 12. And you can see if I show the two of them together, this is more of a squashy, softer elastic. See how it kind of separates? But this one, it's more solid, harder. I will link these, I will link this one up in the description below, the round hard elastic. But if you are searching somewhere else, you can look for elastic cord, string elastic, beading or craft elastic compared to this one, which usually will have a picture of a mask or it'll say that it's mask elastic. This stuff is stronger. It's going to last you a lot longer. So if you are out buying elastic, it's not very expensive. I would go with this one. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. I have lots of planner videos, traveler's notebooks, as well as other planners and routines and anything else that you need to keep yourself organized and not only make the most of your day, but make your planner look pretty as well. Next up is what to do when you have two across. And the fabric ones are a little easier to work with when you're putting elastic in and out because you have the eyelets and they're helpful. See, I've also made extra knots in these because the elastic was going. So I'm just gonna cut these because I'm not keeping them because the elastic elasticity is gone. And like I said, just so you can see, I'm going to use black elastic. Again, you wanna start from the inside because the knot is gonna be on the inside. And you're going to go across the back. I'm just gonna pull it right through to the end to where I want it. And then you're going to go straight down. Always straight down. You don't want to cross over. Then straight across. And straight back up to that first hole. 
straight across the back, straight down again, straight across one last time, get my right tension, and then you are just going to knot it. And you can see here that you have two elastics doubled over on the top and the bottom. So you can have your four strings. Again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Go in from the outside. It's so much easier when there's an eyelet. And then again, close it over. Pull one string. That's about right. And then Knot it again. Have a check. That one seems good. And then tighten your knot. One more to go. Let's try this one. Again, the elastic on this one is still okay, so I'm just going to redo the same elastic. See, I don't like this. This is a good reason for me to, to redo this elastic because it's way, for me, it's way too loose. Whoever made this left like really long ends. I'm gonna take everything out. Starting again from the inside, we're going to pick a hole, doesn't matter. Go through one of the holes and pull it through. And then you're going to go in back in through the other hole. Then you're gonna go straight down and go into the same hole that you've come out of. So I'm in the top hole here, so I'm going to go to the matching hole on the other side. Then I'm going to go back in this other hole. I'm going to go up to the same, it's sort of like the inside hole. So I'm gonna to go to that one again, up here. Across the top of the back, out here again. all the way down to the bottom hole, back in through the inside hole, the top hole, I don't know, it's so confusing. And then you can see how much I have left over, like that was way too long. You just tighten your knots and cut your ends. And there you'll see, again, you have it doubled over there and doubled here. It's just you want to make sure that you go into each hole twice. So it's basically you're doing two loops. It's hard for me to say which ones to do because up here the top one corresponds to the bottom one down here. But you know what I mean. It's easy to see if I maybe show you the loop that you do. So make a loop twice. All right and this one is simple. You just lace that back in it's already done. But since I've done this outside elastic twice already, I think that you have a good handle on that. If you like this video, I have lots more videos on Traveler's Notebooks, videos that help you use your Traveler's Notebook to make the most of it, but also decorating and planning tips. Right up here, you'll find a playlist dedicated to Traveler's Notebooks. Like I said on this channel, I have lots of Traveler Notebook videos, as well as other planners, planning, decorating, keeping organized, routines, everything you need to stay on top of your game. Go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. You'll be the first to find out when my latest video comes out. Next week we are talking all about December Daily and I have some great tips for you. There's lots of Christmas videos coming up in the next few weeks as well as planner videos for 2021. You can click here on my little face to subscribe. Here are two more videos that I think you will like. Have a fantastic day and happy planning!